right, let's talk about video, HTML5 video specifically on web pages. Now, one thing that you really need to understand before you even start working with video is that video files for the web. These video files are actually a container that has two files inside them. There's the audio file and the video file. So there's two parts to this and the container keeps those two things in sync. Each of those files, the video and the audio, needs to be compressed to keep the file size small and then when it's playing it needs to be expanded so it's compressed and decompressed and that's where the term codec comes from compression decompression shrinking it and expanding it so for every video file you have there's going to be a video codec and an audio codec inside there inside of a container now just like the HTML5 audio tag there is a video tag that allows us to put videos on the screen. There's a whole bunch of attributes, we'll go through those in a moment, and just like the audio, you would list off multiple sources. So I could come up with four different potential sources, or five or six, however many I want, and I provide different types of containers. So let's, um, let's say that I wanted to put up a video file. I'm going to put the video file uh, linked to this video using the source elements and I'm going to provide four different formats so doesn't matter which browser people are using if they're on the iPhone if they're on an Android device if they're on Chrome or Firefox or Opera there's different support for all of these different formats and if you're ever looking for support uh, the website caniuse.com is a great place to go and then you can search for the format just as an example I've searched for the uh, Aug Vorbis audio format here um, and it shows me Chrome's got really good support Firefox has good support but it's lacking for iOS Safari and Safari and Edge just added support for it uh, in April of this year so just a couple months ago this support was added here now we can search for other video formats as well I'll add uh, the link to can I use as well as to this this is a very good uh, video f format converter so if you have a video file and it's only in one format but you want to have multiple formats so the file can be viewed on any device this is a great tool um, it's I'm on Mac so it's showing me the link for Mac but if you look right here in the fine print there's download for Windows and, and also the Linux source that you can compile so regardless of the platform that you're on here is the video converter itself and you can drag a file here or choose a file I did a conversion of, of an mp4 file that I had using this tool you can come in and you can choose which of the formats that you want to pick or you can say you know what I just I've got this file that I've uploaded I wanna make sure that this thing will run on a specific device so you can choose which device so just like that okay so I'm not gonna spend time doing the conversion during this video but I do want to talk about how do I load the four different formats or how do I provide the four different formats to the browser to let it choose so type the type attribute lets me specify the mime type now they're all gonna be video but there's different ones so let's let's do some of the common ones that are supported so we've got WebM and then I'll do um, the AUG which is an open source format MP4 and let's go for 3GP something that's supported on um, a lot of phones this is a really lightweight format it's a lossy compression so you do lose some of the quality but it makes the file size quite small now I have a folder called videos I believe uh, just let me double check inside here that's just called video okay there we are so I have all kinds of different versions of this file so the webm one that's the one with this type and then for the aug I'm gonna go to my video folder and I will scroll down here there's my this is OGV is the AUG video there's an OGG which is an AUG audio and MP4 
GP4, there it is. And our last one was the 3GP. Right at the top. There we go. Okay, so now I have four different potential sources. For my href, you know, I could put links to all four of these, so I provide all four formats. That's probably better uh, in terms of being user friendly. I could have four paragraphs inside here. Remember that this element right here, if it's not a source element, then the content is considered to be fallback content for the video element. If the browser does not support HTML5 video, uh, which at this point you're talking about browsers that are probably six to eight years old. Uh, if it doesn't support, or possibly older than that, if it doesn't support HTML5 video, it's more the formats that it might not support. So we've got these four. Let's refresh the page. And there we are. So now we have this showing up. This is our video. The browser has selected from these four based on the type which one is going to be the best quality and really the first one that it supports out of this list. So you can rank these in the order that you would like them to be rendered. If you want WebM first or MP4 first or you want the really lightweight one first, you can do that as well. Now because we added the controls attribute in here, that's why we get the play controls and so on. We can add other attributes inside here. There is the muted attribute, which is going to mute the audio. So you can see there, this is now muted. We can specify that we want the video to loop. We can say, uh, or any one of these attributes, if you remove the attribute, it's considered to not be there. So controls, if we got rid of controls, there, you can see they're gone and there's the video, and I can click on it, nothing's going to happen. I don't have the controls. However, I can come in here and hit, or add the attribute, rather, autoplay. There we are. So now the video is playing. I've said loop, so it's going to get to the end. It will loop back around. Uh, the video is about two minutes long, so we'll probably be finished before it is. Uh, we can add cross-origin the same way we do for audio. So we can say it's anonymous or use credentials, not anonymous, but anonymous. Um, we can specify a height or a width. So if you want to do that, but I recommend doing that through the, uh, the CSS. I think the CSS is a better approach to doing that. Um, yeah, so poster, that was the other one I wanted to talk about. Poster is the image that you want to show. So I'm going to remove autoplay. I'm going to put controls back in, save that, and I'm going to refresh my page. There we are. This is what happens with the poster attribute. It provides an image for you to use as the background before the video starts to play. It doesn't have to be a screen grab from the video. I recommend doing that, but um, Actually, I'm going to do a video a little bit later on using uh, the HTML5 canvas and rendering video on the canvas. You can use the canvas to actually grab screenshots. So I'll show you how to do that. That'll be a, a future video that I do. So we have the poster, which is the image. We've got the controls showing up. We've got muted turned on. We've got loop turned on. And uh, autoplay was the other one that we removed. There's also a preload, which can be set to either none metadata or auto. None meaning don't preload anything. Auto meaning try to preload preload the whole thing. And metadata is just gather the basic information about the video you're going to play. What's the mime type? What's the file name? Um, the length of the video? Things like that. That metadata. The, the information about the video. So that will be fetched. The file header really. Yeah, so that's a video. That's how you add HTML5 video to your web pages. Uh, I'll add a couple more comments inside here and I will put this file in the code gist. Um, I will also, actually no, I can't uh, add the video files as, oh yes, I, I can. I will, I'll put them up on GitHub. I'll find a place to put them up on GitHub and I'll provide the links to those a little bit later so you have the video files as well so you can play around with them. Okay, so 
Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.